We begin tonight with the anger and frustration in Orange County. LCN's Battling Bear Stadium was vandalized overnight. Concession stands, logos, buildings, all of it defaced with spray paint. Now this hurts a little extra for LCM. It hasn't even been a month since the school finished up the multi-million dollar renovation to the field. Yeah, we're talking brand new turf damaged yeah. here. Toll News reporter Cameron Seibert spoke with school leaders and Cam. Uh, any leads in the investigation? Well, guys, the district says that their surveillance cameras actually caught a glimpse of the two suspects. They appear to be teenage boys who were wearing hoodies, carrying spray cans, and what may have seemed like a fun prank is now going to cost the district thousands. Mm. Frustrations. Frustrations, man. Your brand new field. Mm -hmm. Sunday morning came with a rude awakening for LCM football coach Eric Peavy. It's not just about football, it's not just about this, but the thousands that it takes to recover from something like this. Overnight, Batlin Bear Stadium was defaced. Spray paint found on a concession stand, a ticket booth, signs and bleachers. We've had to blur out the profanity. One of the more obvious signs of damage done here to the press box, the spray paint on the wall, school officials telling me it could cost thousands to repair. Kids don't realize that did this, what all goes into it. Added salt on the wound at midfield on the school logo. Brand new turf was installed in late September, part of a multi-million dollar upgrade. Sickening, just sickening is what it is. Joe Shores went to LCM in the late 50s. His daughter works at the school. His granddaughter is in the band. I'm not sure who done this. I just really don't care who done it. But when they're caught, I want them prosecuted to the limit of the law. Instead of Sunday church, Superintendent Stacy Brister spent the day helping local law enforcement. Surveillance cameras caught a glimpse of the suspects. They picked up two individuals in hoodies, uh, clearly spray painting uh, on, the, um, on the press box uh, at about 12, 17 a.m. The baseball field also damaged. Some football players helped detectives find used spray cans, leading back to a ditch which runs to the road. The paint, blue and red, the same as the Lumberton Raiders, LCM's opponent Friday for a big district football game. But Coach Peavy isn't pointing fingers. No, there's no assumptions being made at this point. As a matter of fact, he called me earlier today and offered to bring his team up to help clean. Coach just wants whoever did this to learn their lesson. So the Orange County Sheriff's Office is taking charge of the investigation. They did not want to share that surveillance video today. Friday's football game is in Lumberton, but the district is already working to have that field up and ready to go for some events scheduled this week. Cameron Seibert, 12 News.